Okay, good morning, uh, professors, and good morning, uh, conference uh, um, organizing committee, and, um, and dear uh, colleagues and psychiatrists. Uh, okay, it's my honor to participate in this meeting and uh, share my research. Uh, and in the past 10 years, I have been focused on diagnosis and treatment on depression, including bipolar, bipolar depression and uh, brain function research. And this topic just uh, is my PhD research, and I share this topic today. Uh, and this topic is funded by uh, China Beijing Capital Special Project, and uh, uh, complete and I completed uh, the experiment project in Yuquan Hospital, Tsinghua University. And today I will share the main content of the project with you. Okay, so next. Oh, and. Um, and uh, today we, uh, I will share uh, four parts. The first is research background, and then I will share some uh, the details of my research, and then I share another study is follow up study and uh, summary and pros prospect. Okay, uh, so as you know, uh, unipolar depression, we also call it major depressive disorder, MDD, and it has the feature of high prevalence rate, high re uh, recurrence rate, and high self injury rate, and the uh, it's the clinical um, manifestation was. Uh, uh, persistent depression and loss of interest and ple um, pleasure and associated with the cognitive disorder and um, sleeping disorder and physical discomfort. Uh, and um, the unipolar, uh, we also, I think um, many of us are also familiar with this disease because and it has, uh, it also causes uh, uh, Bipolar depressive disorder and it's caused uh, bipolar depressive disorder, major depressive disorder episodes. Uh, and it's the feature of high mobility, high disability rate, and high uh, rate, and uh, hard cure curable. And uh, the clinical manifestation was uh, persistent. It also was a persistent depression, loss of interest, and um, pleasure associated with uh, cognitive disorder, sleeping disorder, and physical disorder. And uh, bipolar disorder, it, it is a common mental health with a lifetime pre prevalence of 2% uh, percent to 5%. Percent. It's the fifth most uh, disability mental health worldwide. And it's a per, um, um, but, but you know, it's um, it has some difficult to differentiate uh, uh, bipolar dis disorder from uh, uh, unipolar depress uh, the depression at the very early stage because they has a very similar uh, characteristic uh, um, clinical uh, uh, clinical symptoms. So uh, it's hard for our, uh, just like me, uh, psychiatrist to do the good decision uh, in the first. So uh, our research mm -hmm. is just uh, want to find, uh, find some uh, neuro, neuro, bio, neuro, neurological, uh, maybe some biological things we can, we can to uh, find uh, whether it is a very special things uh, in the uh, bipolar disorder. And uh, uh, until now, uh, in the SM5, uh, distinguished by the mood elevator. Uh, yeah, Dr. Pen, sorry to disturb you. Can you uh, change your slides? It's not moving. It's on your first slide. Can you change your slides? Uh, it's my first slide, but I have changed my slide. Oh my God. Mm. So, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, let me check why. Mm. No, it's fine. Okay. Mm. So, you, you always say the first slide. <laughs> okay. Yes. okay. Let me try again. Okay. Okay. 
Uh, and could you see the fourth slide? Yes, now I can see the fourth slide. Okay. The fourth slide. Okay, so. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> um, Uh, so next one, uh, so, so I just said uh, uh, now um, and it's hard. Yes, it's hard for us to detect the uh, bipolar depression from unipolar depression. And uh, always um, our, uh, um, the psychiatrist, if they do the mis, uh, misdiagnosis for the patients, maybe they will give them the wrong uh, medicine. Maybe uh, if they are bipolar disorder, but they give the antidepressant at first, maybe it will be, uh, yes, addict uh, uh, mania. Uh, so um, we think it's very important to make good decision uh, and uh, make the right and uh, uh, yeah, the right decision in the first. And um, the current understanding of the pathological uh, pathology mechanism of UD and the BD are uh, uh, multifactorial um, and uh, we always think maybe there has some genetic loading and uh, environmental factors. All this will be makes a neural change and uh, there also has some security and the brain matter, and this uh, will make the brain function have some uh, brain function disease, and also uh, the systematic consequence and abnormal emotion behavior, which ultimately cause social dysfunction and cognitive impairments. And also, cognitive defects are one of those core features of uh, unipolar and bipolar. Uh, and bipolar. And the research has show, um, and many research show, uh, if there has a an emotion system, it will make some uh, inflammatory response. And uh, all this has uh, uh, funding that uh, there will have some cognitive impairment. And then maybe a long time, it will be make some disability. So it's hard for us to, uh, and it's important for us to, um, to find something. And uh, currently, most uh, uh, mood disorder, uh, and we, we have some uh, cause the functional, uh, uh, functional brain image. And it had, we have many skills. We could use uh, many uh, management. We can, use, uh, we can use some equipment to, man, uh, to measure the brain function. Uh, for example, all, um, many of us use fMRI. And, uh, uh, but fMRI has some, uh, some uh, disadvantage because uh, it's um, uh, it has uh, uh, it, and, and if there has some high movement, it will be affect the uh, the results. And also the the machine is very expensive. It's hard for us to use uh, this uh, machine to uh, to detect all the patients. But after years, it's just our uh, our uh, our experiment. We use uh, our study use F years, and F years is very cheap. And all um, it's a, um, it's just compared with uh, fMRI. F years is very uh, cheap, and um, we can use it for most of the patients in our hospital. Every patient when uh, when when they uh, came to see me, and I will get, uh, let them to do the FNEARS and um, and uh, to detect their brain 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 function uh, before their uh, the first uh, the first diagnosis and then when they come to see me I also give them the, then I can do the comparative study and uh, um, okay. Oh, oh, oh. So this is the near infrared spectroscopy. Oh, oh. And uh, uh, we need uh, we need the uh, the light pass through the scope through the core, and uh, uh, and then they reject the light. Uh, and uh, okay. Uh, and 
the scatter photo are captured by the detector and the change of the absorption coefficient and scatter coefficient can be obtained according to the change of the light. We use the beer lambert law can be used to calculate the change in the state of the blood in the cell uh, of, the, uh, of the core test. And the um, FNIRS, and it has some uh, uh, the rational line in the mechanism no uh, and uh, the FNIRS is also highly uh, rec uh, rec correlated with MRA blood oxygen level dependent signal and FNIRS has advantage of low cost and uh, easy to quick to use and the portability and high tempo, temporal uh, resolution and a relatively relaxed testing environment and providing a real-time monitor window on a patient to culture function during a, spe a specific cognitive task. Um, so it has a high time resolution environment measure and uh, non-invasive uh, methods and easy to integrate with other technology and the equipment is cheap. So it has a, a very big um, a clinical application in the future. And uh, we use this, uh, and uh, and we use a uh, verbal fluency task for uh, for this uh, uh, this whole uh, whole, uh, this, uh, whole test. Uh, verbal uh, fluency task has been widely used to explore function cognitive impairment in FNIR study. This task could uh, um, activate the pre uh, prefrontal context. And um, it is a more reliable validity and easy to operate and uh, uh, implement. And um, we use this is just uh, we, like, uh, uh, we like every patients uh, uh, or every subject when they participate to our uh, task and uh, to uh, later, I will give you the, the, the picture for the VFT task. Okay. And uh, our study is firstly fundamental research, and then it's also a, clin a clinical uh, application. We just want to find the real thing we could do to do the uh, differentiating from bipolar depression and bipolar depression. And this is our uh, technical group. And uh, we enrolled 179 um, individuals in our study. And there was uh, 16 uh, nine patients. It is, it is uh, unipolar depression. And uh, uh, 68 patients is uh, bipolar depression. And uh, 42 health control. And the uh, participants were recruited from the psychiatry department of Yuquan Hospital, Tsinghua University. And um, the 42 patients was, uh, 42 control was uh, recruited from the local community. And all the individuals were between uh, 18 to 16 years old, 60 years old, right-handed and diagnosis used DSM-5 by two senior psychiatrists. And then we give the uh, nearest uh, test and uh, give them some uh, uh, skills, uh, skills and uh, uh, then we do the uh, comparis comparative study. And uh, this is the uh, this is our uh, subject, yes. <clears throat> and we also use some um, uh, high depression rating scale, and use hemiotech and anxiety rating scale and the mood disorder questionnaire. We use it just to wonder, uh, wonder why uh, when the uh, depression is uh, different, uh, when the different dep depression degree is different, or uh, why there is a why there is a brain uh, the brain function will be changed. So we, we also change it. We also text the same. And this is the 
systematic. Uh, this is a verbal uh, verbal fluency task, and it has uh, four category. One is vegetable, the second is home plants, and third is uh, full food uh, animals, and the fourth is fruits. And every uh, category, every task has uh, one minute. There has uh, fifty seconds in. Uh, and rest, and then task period 30 seconds, and then uh, resting stage also uh, 50 seconds, and then we uh, we will do the average for the four the uh, uh, the four uh, uh, task, uh, and then uh, and and that time we uh, we measure the the brain function. This is the brain function. Uh, uh, brain function. This is uh, uh, F years, and the we use it's uh, foreign, uh, foreign three, uh, uh, three thousand, and uh, and uh, we use uh, and it's our uh, we use seven uh, seven uh, plus four up uh, up optical setup mode constitute 45 channels and uh, located uh, and we uh, just use is the, the for uh, the I don't know how to say the foreign uh, pre prefrontal prefrontal uh, cortex and uh, okay Okay, so this is our uh, analysis. Um, cause our, um, cause, uh, cause our uh, data is not uh, uh, confirmed. Uh, doesn't confirm to true normality. So we use the uh, cruelties uh, to do the to, to do the uh, statistic the methods and. Uh, Okay. Okay. And uh, uh, then uh, it's our uh, results. And our results, and first we found the um, the HC, the, the, the health control group, unipolar depression and bipolar depression were comparable for age and education years and blood oxygen saturation, saturation and gender. And uh, um, and the uh, the VFT uh, we found uh, we found there was uh, some perf uh, performance score. Um, uh, maybe you, you can see uh, the the HC group and MDBD there has something different. And we also found uh, the uh, Hamilton and the Hamilton D is a anxiety Hamilton anxiety scale and Hamilton depression scale also has a significant difference from uh, the HC group and MD and BD group. And uh, there was uh, our uh, funding in the brain function. Well, we use uh, yes nears, and we found this group has a different expression about uh, the brain activation. Uh, we can see in the health control, the the mid uh, cortex, the pre mid cortex was be activated, but uh, uh, the unipolar depression and, uh, and the bipolar depression only has a lower activation. And this is the forty-five channels uh, uh, oxygen changes, and uh, um, after the statistics, uh, we found there has uh, ten uh, channels, uh, and yes, in the different area uh, in the brain, and uh, among the three groups, and. Uh, It's just in the, uh, um, and we uh, we found there has some uh, regular things. Uh, one is uh, oxygen, uh, oxygen. This is oxygen concentration activation level uh, um, in unipolar depression, bipolar, and health control. We can see most of the channels the uh, the. And the health control was uh, higher, uh, higher, uh, higher than the other two groups, and uh, the 
MD group always uh, the lower group in uh, lowest group in the in, in among the three groups, and uh, the BD group between the between them. So we just found always there has some thing. Uh, it just means may, maybe we will have um uh, also we have some. Uh, let's have, our discussion. So our uh, conclusion is uh, we think the results that we measure show that both BD and UD group demonstrate lower activation than HC group in the prefrontal region on multiple channels. Uh, according to the distribution of oxygen in different 10 channels between three groups, the channel of the oxygen in MD group were lower than the BD and and the brain activation in BD was uh, between normal control and the uh, MD group. And the uh, uh, symptom severity is associated with the multi, uh, multiple brain regions. Um, and we've also found in, uh, in this related regions, the uh, PFC, VLPFC, and OFC, LIFG, this area is very, really is, has a very, um, Good relationship with uh, this uh, uh, disease, and uh, and uh, um, from that ten channel, we found channel twenty eight, channel the thirty one. Um, it has some significant change between unipolar depression and bipolar depression. Uh, so we just and that area is located in uh uh ventral-lateral prefrontal context. So we just think, but that area is associated with the risk task and uh, risk averse act activity in human. So we just think maybe the, um, uh, the uh, ventral-lateral prefront prefrontal context uh, is a very uh, important uh, um, uh, area we maybe we can explain the difference between bipolar disorder and unipolar depression um, and we also do another thing uh, another research that is uh, that is a follow-up research but today I, I just gave two uh, three uh, three pictures three slides on um, because uh, 